cultural penetration via U.S. satellite and even Caribbean nations such as Jamaica, whose history is more extensive than ours, threatens Anguilla's own. What aspect of Anguillian culture is dearest to you? And what can government and we as a people do to help to preserve it? You have two minutes. Thank you. As a musician, I grew up having a love for music. So I've played it, played the musical instrument, the guitar in churches and different groups, musical groups. So I can consider myself to be an accomplished guitarist. As a writer, a member of the Performing Rights Society in London, I say to you that one of the dearest things to me is music. And that is why I have said in my campaign across the district that two of the major areas that should be brought back in our schools are music and art. Because music has this dynamic effect on people. It is, a, it is an exchange. It's a way of communicating ideas. So I would hold that as my preference in terms of culture. Thank you. Ms. Webster, and how about you? Um, would you repeat the question? Please? Yes. Cultural penetration by a U.S. satellite and even Caribbean nations such as Jamaica, whose history is more extensive than ours, threatens and will us own. What aspect of Anguillian culture is dearest to you? And what can government and we as a people do to help to preserve it? Thank you very much. Um, Madam Moderator, um, let me start with what's dearest to me. I love the theatre arts and it saddens me tremendously that with all the talent we've had in Anguilla in the theatre arts, we don't have a theatre in Anguilla. And I think government can start by creating a theater. There is, our culture is extremely rich in storytelling. That is how we preserve and allow for the transmission of our heritage, the stories with our families, with our grandparents, the reenactment of the revolution, the reenactment of the personalities. And I think that while we have so much in common with other Caribbean islands and and their culture is more present in our faces by virtue of television. There's so much we can learn from them and share with them, taking advantage of our own unique personality and characteristics. And I think the government needs to modify and provide every opportunity for the theater arts to prevail and music and other Thank creative you. arts to provide Thank for you, our future. Sir. Mr. Hodge. I, I, we are not going to stop the, um, the advance of the American culture, but we can, we can work to ensure that our own culture doesn't disappear uh, or disappear completely. It is a key part of my platform that the performing arts must be bolstered in Angola. We have no facility for the performing art, arts in Angola. We have no theater. We're using the Rufford Auditorium, which is not suited for the purpose. We have no cinema, which is not, which is, will bring in foreign culture. But the beauty of having cinematic facilities is that our schools can teach video production, and we can then produce local, uh, make do local productions on video for showing in our cinemas. We have to, we have to see to it that our people enjoy themselves watching local productions while at the same time they enjoy themselves watching American and other uh, and productions from cult other cultures. Thank you, Mr. Hodge.